so it's like the next day here and we're working on getting the car back together so let me show you what we did last night so we got, went ahead and put the front control arms in we got the subframe back in for the most part we did have one bolt that wasn't too happy about going back to its home so we ordered a new set of these these ones are a little bit different because they're tapered and the threads on it are less than happy here so we ordered a new set of those from acura they'll be here in a couple days um but uh, we got the front here we need to check a couple of bolts in all this but right now is pretty much time to do the axles which is my favorite time because uh that means that the insane shaft 500 horsepower axles are going in the car and that kind of completes the front end for the most part <laughs> So I, <laughs> I've been having camera issues with this whole freaking episode. So let me just show you where we are and uh, what we're gonna try to achieve next in this, uh, this wonderful video of mine. So currently we have the, uh, the intercooler mounted uh, and we have the bottom of the radiator positioned where we want it. And we had to make some modifications here to our, uh, our core support. So we trimmed a little out here, a little out here and a little bit out here. And in this position, we are able to close the hood and we still have, we have about a finger width of clearance around that cap. On the bottom, it barely sticks down below the frame rail and that's okay because it's still above, I believe above the oil pan and everything in terms of the, uh, the transmission. So you can see, so it's not the lowest point. So the, the part that we left off on was the, the the little pedestal mounts for the bottom of the radiator. So we got this one, we had to do some cleanup on it. So we drilled out the spot welds and uh, we got the little rubber thing in there. We're gonna try and fit these up and figure out where we're gonna put the support and then also tie in the intercooler support to it. And uh, I think if we can do that today, then we'll be totally good on the core support. Um, we're gonna try and do, I originally wanted to do a off this top bar up here. I wanted to do it off this top bar, but I don't think we're gonna be able to do that just because that's a huge drop and then all of that. So I think we're gonna just go off of these uh, traction bar bolt holes and just do it that way for now and then if we do go track bar we'll figure it out from there but right now we're just gonna try to shoot a bar down the middle find a place to mount like weld it to and then we got to just make sure that we also keep this open for our charge pipe when we get it going all right so forgive me because the last week and a half or whatever has been kind of a struggle um Battery, <laughs> I've been having camera problems like nobody's business. Um, <laughs> my phone's either always full. Camera battery's been dying because I got screwed over on an Amazon purchase from three years ago that was a, a fake battery charger. So now all my batteries last five minutes and that's it. We got batteries now. We're gonna see if it gets any better. Hopefully, should. But uh, let's talk about where we are uh, and, and what's been done since the last clip. Or you saw this, I believe. Uh, this is the upper, but what you didn't see was the lower. So the lower's kind of hanging out here and, and my, my jack's been lacking, but the bottom's kind of done, but not really. Let me take off this intercooler and I'll show you what I mean. This bar is still very much loose. And the radiator's still bouncing around. It's not terrible, 
it could use a little support. Um, so I'm going to jack this up real quick. And we're just checking that the upper fitment with it is okay. Because that's ideally where I want it to be. And then we're going to try and support it from the top. I put this bar in here. I feel like this was going to help a lot. Uh, I really don't think it does much of anything except kind of just solidify the two. So I'm actually just going to buzz this bar back out. And we're going to go down. And then back up. And then that should give me what I'm looking for. Uh, we're going to try and do that. And then we'll we'll stitch in these bottom pieces back in. And uh, that should solidify the position of everything. All right, so after some, some trimming, some pushing, some pulling, some more welding, and you know, whatever, it's official. The radiator is in. The intercooler is too. It's all welded in. It's not going nowhere. It's solid. Finally, one of the hardest parts of this build is, is done. All right, obviously there's only one contingent rule about this is that is the hood has to close. There you go. Intercooler is officially mounted. And so is the radiator. Cool, so we also have room. We also have room if we wanna put like an oil cooler or something in here, we can, we can put that in there as well. But uh, I'm happy. I'm happy now. Everything's kind of square and and is in the same ballpark. Now we just need to start making things go that way. This thing will be teacher long before you know it. At least the front end's done. That's a big win for me. So, in the, in the next video, we're going to start doing the wiring. I know we're jumping around doing weird things, but it all contributes to the greater good of just getting this thing on the road. So we need to do all the front end white light wiring and get it all tied into the car and get all the lighting working. So that's what we're going to be doing in the next video. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Uh, Y'all have been amazing. Uh, subscribing and, and, and liking the videos. Uh, keep it up. Good, good looks. Uh, like I said, next video, we're going to do a little bit of wiring. Stay tuned. We're almost there. We're almost there. I mean, right now, the only thing is keeping the car from moving is brakes. So... Almost there, almost there. EBC, if you're watching, I need brakes. Uh, send me some brakes and I'll be your best friend forever, I swear, I promise, cross fingers, DM me, Instagram, or something. Uh, thanks for watching, see you in the next one.